This video will cover the topic, finding the initial amount and rate of change given a graph of a linear function. I have a quick question. What exactly is a rate of change? A rate of change represents an amount of something changing over time. For example, a speed is a rate of change. On a graph, the rate of change is also the slope of the graph, and the initial amount will be the y-intercept of the graph. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say that Jack is at the gas station filling up his car's tank. This graph shows the amount of gas in gallons versus time in minutes. We want to interpret this graph to figure out the initial amount of gas that he had in the car, the amount at zero minutes. And we want to find the rate of change of the gas, which would be in gallons per minute. What is the initial amount of gas according to the graph? It looks like the initial amount of gas is 3 gallons because the y-intercept is at 3 gallons, which is the amount at 0 minutes. Very good. Now we want to find the rate of change, or rate at which the amount of gas increases. If the rate of change is just the slope of the line, then how, how do we find the rate of change? We just find another point on the graph, then use the slope formula to find the slope, right? Correct. So we can eyeball the graph to find a certain point that the line goes through. We will then plug this point and the initial point into the slope formula, which is m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So I will take the initial point and the point 1 comma 7 as my two points. So I plug them into the formula as 7 minus 3 over 1 minus 0, which is the same as 4 over 1, and we know 4 over 1 is 4, so it's 4 gallons per minute. So that means that the tank started with 3 gallons inside, and it filled up at a rate of 4 gallons per minute. Very good.